Let me show you how to connect your V519 OBD2 scanner to your car so you can read and clear codes. So first, before you actually plug it in in your OBD, also make sure your car is on so you do not have it started. Simply make sure you have basically the dash on it. And next, figure out where your OBD2 scanner port actually is on your car. For example, on this car over here, I have the OBD port right over here. And then simply go ahead and plug this in in that port. And as you see, once actually plugged in, my OBD scanner actually turns on. So again, this device doesn't have internal battery. It simply takes the electricity from your OBD port there, over there. Then you see, you can actually use these buttons to navigate through the different menus. So if you want to read the car, so we would click over here on the OBD. Then you see it's essentially like connecting to the car over here and reading the protocol and also, yeah. By the way, if you are in this menu and you need to get to the main menu where you can set up and connect to the car, simply press the exit sign. And then you see you can actually click this thing once more. Also, we have various other options here. So if we click this, and then click read DTC, so select with the OK. It will essentially pull up all the codes so that we have problems. See the code and also the explanation of what's actually wrong. If you use a button button, you can also switch to the next code. So you see, I have two codes basically on this car at the moment. So I simply unplugged some sensors from my car to actually trigger this stuff. So yeah, absolutely awesome. We can actually see everything here, what's actually wrong. Uh, so, uh, to clear them, so exit this and simply go to the clear DTC, so with the arrow, and again click OK here. So, if you want to erase the codes, so press OK again, and you see it's erasing the codes. And also see the uh, check engine light also from my car completely disappeared, so we essentially cleared everything here. Also, if you need to do more tests on your car, basically, so I would simply start the car. Actually, yeah, while I have basically it uh, on over here, and you see you have various options. For example, we can go to the live data. Um, so essentially it's connecting to the car, reading everything, how it's actually running. And as you see, basically we have everything here displayed. So it's live data of the car. Okay. And also uh, we have various testing modes here. So this mode six, essentially again, you can test various things here, I guess. So let's see if I like scroll. So yeah, simply find what you need. And also we can test our oxygen sensors here as well, if needed. And also some, I guess, some emission stuff or something like that. And again, if we press the exit here, uh, again, the data stream, that again is pretty much that same live mode, I think. Let's see what it looks like again. So yep, it appears pretty much the same here. Also over here, we have the code library as well. So if you need to hook up uh, some error code, so that you do not know, you can also go over here, for example, and to explain what that code actually means. So yeah, this unit actually is very, very advanced. Also, for example, we can even check the voltage of our battery here. So again, if your car is not starting, you can easily rule that, rule that out if your voltage isn't enough. And also like different setup options for the unit itself. And yeah, overall, I think this new V519 OBD2 scanner is actually absolutely fantastic. So, especially for the price we are paying. Uh, by the way, also, if you want to get this scanner for the cheapest price possible, simply check out the special discount links in the description. So, I got mine from AliExpress, actually, and I literally paid actually a bit under $10 for mine. And that also was with free shipping for this price. I think this is completely unbeatable. So, again, not only it's very powerful, it can actually connect to pretty much any car. It also has the code explanations right on the unit and can do various tests. So yeah, for this price, I think it's absolutely insane what we are getting. Also, especially considering the very nice screen on it as well. Anyway, good luck.